Welcome back to my kitchen, my friends. Today, I'll share with you the best Brazilian recipe for any occasion. Carne louca, which translates to crazy meat in Portuguese, is a popular Brazilian dish that is perfect for any occasion. This flavor and tender shredded beef is usually served as a sandwich, filling or as a snack with crackers or bread. You will be amazed at how easy it is to make this dish and how quickly it will become a favorite in your household. For the ingredients, check on the description below in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting recipes and cooking tips. There we go! Starting with the onion. I'm peeling the onion right now, removing the skin. And now we're gonna start chopping our onion. Look at what I'm doing. Removing all the skin and creating those vertical lines and cuts on our onion. And now, exactly at the middle, the center of your onion, we're gonna just pass the knife and create one big cut. Now, with horizontal lines, we're gonna create a small dices of our onion. All done with the first part, a half of our onion. For this recipe, we're gonna use an entire piece of onion. It's a regular size. After the onion, we're gonna chop the first pepper. I prefer for this recipe, use three different colors. It makes our dish more fancy, more colorful. We're gonna start with the yellow one. We're gonna create some strips and after some dices. But first, let's remove the seeds and that white part that is indigestible. Basically here, I'm just cleaning our pepper that brings the best flavor ever. I'll separate some small parts of our pepper. Now it's easy to create some strips. Let me organize my board and now with the strips like this way, we're almost ready for our dices. So look what I'm doing right now. I'm angling my knife and cutting our peppers in diagonal. So it creates some different visuals for our peppers, right? And we're gonna repeat the same thing the same action for the other peppers. We're gonna speed up the video, enjoy it, and repeat at home. This is our last one, the green. Don't forget angling your knife for creating those diagonal aspects while chopping your peppers. So now, look how amazing are our peppers together. So colorful. It totally represents our dish. It represents also Brazilian parties. All those kids' birthdays. When you're enjoying with your friends. It's very colorful and happy. All right, now we're gonna start with the meat by seasoning our meat. We're gonna use black pepper first. It's a big amount of black pepper. Don't give up, continue. And after we're gonna use the salt. For this part, basically, we're gonna use two teaspoons salt. We're gonna blend the meat with the first seasoning. I cannot do it with the big spoon, we are gonna use my hands, it's way better. And we have one secret for this recipe. I will continue blending the ingredients with the meat, a little bit more salt. 
and after this part we're gonna throw one of the special ingredients we're gonna use those ready seasoning for meat that will bring a little bit more flavor as our meat we're gonna spend some time in the pressure cooker now we're just throwing all our special seasoning for meat we are almost done with this more step we're gonna continue mixing with love very patience Make sure all these small meat dices are covered by the special seasoning for meat. Our next step is heating up our pressure cooker. We're gonna use two fats, olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna throw the meat, listen to the sound. Perfect, we won't mix, we won't stir our meat in the pressure cooker for a while. We want to create a crust of flavor. After that, we can stir, mix with the fat, and we're gonna throw some more ingredients. For example, the onion. Now we're gonna throw all the onion we chopped before. Stirring a little bit. We have the garlic and the water as a last ingredient. Now I'll throw in our pan two cloves of garlic and I'm gonna fill up the pan with water. Basically for two kilos of meat, I have one liter and a half of water. Make sure you have two fingers water atop of the meat. To conclude this part, we're gonna stir a little bit more for blending the ingredients in our pressure cooker. We're gonna close it and you're gonna leave it cooking for 40 minutes minimum. Right, moving forward. Now we're gonna heat up one pan. I have a large pan. I will use the olive oil. It's a good amount of olive oil. Basically two tablespoon oil. And let's saute the peppers. We're gonna throw all the three peppers together. I love seeing colors on the pan. Make sure all the peppers are covered by oil. And I'll throw a little bit of salt, a half of a teaspoon salt for now. Let's stir a little bit more and make sure your stove is in the medium power for now. So after three to five minutes, I'll throw in the pan 100 milliliters of water. It will soften the peppers. We're gonna leave it for five to 10 minutes and close the pan also. After five minutes, I'll check my peppers in the pan and also I'll throw the tomato sauce. Here I have a regular bottle of tomato sauce. It's a regular container. Throw the whole thing, stir with the other ingredients, and we're gonna leave it boiling while our pressure cooker is doing her job. 
But before closing the pan for this time, I have a secret for you. We're gonna use the cherry tomato to sweeten our recipe. Secret, keep it between us. I love the color, all the ingredients together. It looks like a strong sauce. That's what we need for our recipe. If you noticed, I did not use salt in this portion of our recipe. I'll taste it a couple of times before correcting our sauce with the salt. After 45 minutes, let's shred the meat. Look how soft is our meat. Easily, you can shred the meat by pressing your fingers. But now we're gonna use a forks, making some pressure over the meat. We're gonna shred all of them very fast. Enjoy it. Invite your friends for doing this part. It's so relaxing. I love it. We are almost done with this part, and after that, we're gonna check our sauce. We're gonna use the water from the pressure cooker that was cooking our meat. We're gonna use the same water that has a lot of flavor. We're gonna throw in the sauce two or three spoons of water with our meat broth. Okay, we're almost done shredding all of our meat. Look at that result. It's beautiful, amazing. After reducing the sauce, it will be extremely tasty. We're gonna use some spoons of our meat broth. Three for now. And we're gonna add more a little bit later. And stirring a little more. You should smell the thing here. It's incredible. Okay, let's add a little bit more meat broth. And it's time for checking our sauce by tasting a little bit. If it needs more salt, it's up to you. Do it according to your taste. Close the pan now for more 5 minutes. And after, we're gonna throw the shredded beef. It's so beautiful and so tasty. We have all together now. We are almost done. Okay, after finishing throwing all the shredded beef in the pan, we're gonna start stirring more and now our beef is gonna get some new color with all the ingredients. I love this part, I love seeing everything getting together. And I promise you, it's very tasty. It's the best sandwich ever. I always recommend you to taste your recipe before serving to your people. That's why I'm throwing more meat broth. I thought it needed a little bit more taste. And just look what I'm doing again. It's your best tool, your mouth. Taste it all the time. And check for the flavors, the salt. And now my friends, it's the time the most special moment. Let's taste it. Wow. It's unbelievable. I remember my childhood, the parties with my family. Make it, taste it, have some fun. See you next time.